Hi guys and welcome to another Divi video. This is Jamie from System22 and WebDesignDetectives.com. We've been putting together this little site with a hero section, a little about us with some animations going on, some scroll effects, a sticky little quote bar here that'll stick to the top and change color there. Yesterday we put in this video background with this counter section. Today we're going to do this and it's a split no gutter image section. You see this a lot on different sites, really easy to do. And we sort of cloned the opposite of it down below here. So let's get started, I'll show you how to do this. First thing I'm gonna do is enable Visual Builder. Once enabled, let's go down to where we wanna work. And we'll get rid of these sections here. It's that one and this one. And let's add a new section. Little blue button to add a section. I'm going to make it a regular section. Inside, I'm going to put two rows, or two columns, I should say. Inside the first column, I'm going to put an image module. And let's choose an image. Here's one we downloaded from Pexels the other day. Put that in there. And on this one, as I want a button, I'm going to use a simple call to action. So I'm going to add a new module. I'm going to pop in a call to action. Put in your title. Whatever it is you want to say here. Put in whatever you want your button to say. And we'll put in some content. I'm going to change that in a minute and put more content in there. Now you see there's no button down there at the moment with the call to action. Before the button will show up, you have to put a link for the button in there. I'll just use a hashtag for now as I've got nowhere for it to go. And as you can see when I put that in, the button appeared. Now you can choose to open it in the same window. If you're linking to your own site, leave it just like that. Best practice though, if you're linking to somebody else's site, open it in a new tab so that your site stays open. Now if you want the whole module to link somewhere also, you can put another link in here. I'm happy for mine to be just like that. Okay, in a moment I'm gonna take that background away and add some more content. So let's just save the changes here. Now, we're gonna create a no gutter section and what the gutters are is a space in between these two modules here. So if I go into this row, go into design, Make sure you can see. We'll go to sizing. I'm going to say use custom gutter width. I'm going to flip this to on. I'm going to take this all the way down to the left hand side to one. And as you can see, they're now buffered up against each other. And you can get some great effects doing this sort of thing too. But we're going to use this for a whole section. Now I want this to be full width. So while we're in here, I'm going to slide the width up to 100%. I'm going to copy that roll down and paste it in the max width here or you can just type it in if you prefer as you can see our column is now going full width let's just save what we got there or i should say our row is going full width with two columns in it now i want to get rid of any padding top and bottom because i want it to buffer up against the top here so again in the row design spacing i want to make sure i put a zero top and bottom in the padding hit the chain it'll do the opposite great and I want to do the same for the actual section itself because we've got some padding up there obviously so blue tab for the section I'm going to go in there same place design spacing put a zero don't have to put the px in it'll put it there for you hit the chain opposite side there we go great so we now got a full width row with no gutter in the middle there Okay, well, let's go back into our little call to action module here. And first thing I'm gonna do is take the background away. Because so I'm gonna use the plain white page background, but obviously that's up to you. Now we've lost our text because it's white on white. So if we go into the text module, design tab, down to text, we'll flip that to dark, or whatever color you want. You can color it individually. 
by going down to body text right here and title text. Title text, I think I'll change the color there as well. So I've gone into title text, make that blue, let's make it semi bold, a bit heavier. There we go, and let's spread it out a little bit by giving it some line height. That will give it more space top and bottom. I'm going to take mine up to about 2, I think. 2M. There we go. Now there's not enough content for me that's going to kind of look a little bit empty, but again, that's styling, it's up to you. So I'm going to grab some dummy text as I've got nothing real to say. Go back into my content, to the text. I'm going to go over to lipsum.com and just grab some dummy text there. And I'll paste it in the text module. And as with all text modules, you can bold things out, you can create links, you can add more media here if you want to. Okay, I'm fairly good with that. Now I'm going to go over to my design. I think I want the text justified so it sort of fills it out. There we go, something like that. But I want my title in the middle. I think I want my button on the right. So let's go down to the title text. And I'm going to align that centrally. And I want to put an S on that solutions there, looks like. Custom solution. I think the solutions would be better. Okay, let's go back in. We've got our heading in the middle, our title text right there. It's the color we want. We've got the spacing okay. Body text is fine where it is. I do want to put that button on the right hand side though. So I've gone into the button, into alignment. Now, the reason mine's purple with a blue, that's the way I've got it set up in my customizer. If you want to customize your button, make it any color and shape you want, go into your custom styles for button, flip that to yes. You can change all your colors, backgrounds, borders. And to set hover color at the moment, go into your background color. Up the top here, you'll see button background. Little arrow right there. If you click on it, it'll let you set a regular state when your mouse is not on it and a different color for your hover when you click on it like that. But I'm happy to leave mine as is and you can do exactly the same for the border as well. Okay. So I'm happy with where that is. I want to give it a bit more spacing top and bottom and perhaps a little bit more left and right. So we'll go back in. Design again. to spacing this time. I'm going to give it 100 pixels top and bottom. Again, just hit the chain, it'll do both. That's pretty good. And let's say 50 left and right. And don't forget, with all Divi modules, you can change it on tablet and mobile view simply by rolling over Dark Legend in there, hitting the little mobile phone icon. You've got a desktop view, and you can switch to tablet view and mobile view and put in different amounts to make sure it's fully responsive. Okay. Well I'm fairly happy with that, that section there. So we've got a split no gutter section there. And you quite often see these doubled up. So what, what you can do is double it up and flip it around. Go into the row, hit the little clone button, two little squares right there. And we cloned it below let's flip it around and the easiest way for me to do this if I go to the little purple button at the bottom we'll go to wireframe mode hit the little purple button little icon over here goes to the back end wireframe mode there's our two clone sections one two I'm going to flip the image and the call to action around the other way and once you've done that you can go back to desktop view or whatever view you'd like to work on And I'm going to change the background on this one to perhaps blue. As we've been using the blue and purple. Now, of course, we need to change our text. So we'll save this. We'll go back into the module right here. Go to our design tab. We can go into text and hit light. That will make it light in color. Or you can give it a custom color, color or whatever you want by going to the body text. I want to make my title white as well or a light color so we can see it on there there we go 
and we'll change that to a different title for your next section. And let's put that button on the left this time. I'm going to go into the button, design tab, button. I'm going to shut up the custom styles because I'm leaving it as it is. Button alignment is just under the custom styles. I'm going to put that one on the left this time. And obviously, we want a new image in here. And there we go. And just to finish off, we'll just add a little animation to the text. So I'm going into the text module. I'm going to go to design. I'm going to go down to the bottom to animation. I'm going to use slide in. There we go. That's fine. It's sliding in from the center. You can use scroll effects if you want to, but I just thought I'd use regular animation on this. And we'll do the same for the top one. And we're done. Go back into this one. Design. Animation down the bottom. And again, I'll use that slide. Again, it's sliding in for the center. You can change duration, delay, intensity, and the direction it slides in from. I'm happy with all of that at the moment. So as far as I'm concerned, we're done with this. Let's save our changes. We'll save our page changes. Exit the Visual Builder. And let's go on down and take a look. And there we go, there's our first little split no gather section. And here's our second one right here. Like I say, you see these a lot on various sites. So there we have it. There's how to create a split section with no gather. Really easy to do and it's a striking little thing to have on your site. So I hope you've enjoyed this today and found it useful. If you have, please give it a thumbs up, comment, share and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Once again, this has been Jamie from System22 and WebDesignAndTechTips.com. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.